Some things we handle at auction can blow your breath away. Well, here we have, I suppose, what we define as being an auctioneer's dream. Two quite unbelievable Fabergé flowers made for royalty. Paul Perrine on this one here on an 18 karat gold stem. And this one here with a blossom and the buds just begin to flower with these gorgeous, what we might call Siberian uh, nephrite jade leaves. These were made by Fabergé in about 1905, 1910. They would have been gifted by almost certainly a member of the royal family. It could have been Queen Alexandra. It could have been Queen Mary. This isn't glass. This is a very hard piece of rock crystal with this wonderful level of imitation water within. Marc Fabergé, circa 1907-1908. On this Barbary bush are these wonderful uh, porpourine berries which hang. They're so naturalistic, they're almost ripening. They're almost falling off. Ah, uh, just amazing when we consider only 80 of these little Fabergé flowers really exist in the world. The name of Fabergé really came alive when Karl Fabergé joined the Imperial Works in Russia in 1872 and in 1903 this luxury London Fabergé office was opened up for the great playground of rich and royalty from Edwardian times. And Fabergé's talent was to create this realism in jewellery which could then look so organic and so naturalistic in this Barbary bush. But the condition of this one is exquisite. The enamel is in wonderful condition and even the soil in the jar there that's uh, dripped in enamel within the jade really is quite remarkable. So well put together by this genius who has never been rivaled since. Uh, these back in 1905, 1910 cost anything from £25 up to £100. Uh, to define value today, their value doesn't run into thousands, it perhaps doesn't run into tens of thousands. Uh, for these quite immaculate, sensational, frightening finds, we expect them to fetch hundreds of thousands of pounds.